my wife and I bought this house without a microwave, which is totally fine. We actually went two months without a microwave. It wasn't that big of a deal. And uh, anyway, but our friends are nice enough. They were upgrading and uh, had an extra microwave, so they gave it to us. So now we have this here. This is totally temporary, and we gotta figure out what to do with the microwave. So over here on this side of the kitchen are these old ass built-ins. What I think we're gonna do is try and put that microwave in this cabinet. All right, what did I get? I got cable 12-2, this is for 20 amp, I think, I hope. Whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is an outlet tester, wire connectors, wire stripper. Um, test of outlets are hot, These are the boxes for the outlet. This is a wire nut for your ground line. F board, some common board to hold it up. And then you boys gotta stay clean. So I got some uh, laundry detergent too. So here's what I'm looking at. I think I can move it right here, which would make more sense because if the outlet's all the way back there, then allegedly only one thing can plug in because it's the far end of that corner. If I put it back here, then if there's other stuff like a juicer or whatever, then it has access to the outlet too. So I think that's happening. Let's just make sure. I think that works right there. That's very scientific, isn't it? All right, can't really see it. Wow, you can't see it at all, but it's right there. I don't think you're gonna like this part, Zoe. What do we think happened, Zoe? Do we think we hit gold or we struck out? Oh no, we definitely hit gold. We just gotta keep going. <laughs> All right, now that we can see daylight there, we've got to make sure the cable can run to the bottom here. I'm gonna have to cut something up here. So now I am just 
playing with this thing, working with the three wires and getting it attached to the outlet. This guy is all wired up. I was able to fit it in, hollow back. So now I finally got the cable to run through and for fear of cutting it short, I am just pulling all 50 foot of this cable through. Yes, look at this. Oh, you're an idiot. Outlet is in, it's wired, hopefully wired correctly. That can go on in a minute. It's the outlet box right there, the wire running through and down. The wire runs right there through this hole over to the side and up. Now what we gotta do is open this guy up and tie this into here for the power. Should test. This thing's working. Two yellow slash red, what does that mean? Correct. Correct? Does that mean it's on? That means there's power. Now to turn off the power. Garage outlets. Nothing there. Nothing there. So here I'm incorrectly unscrewing everything. You would have to do this normally, but the reason mine is incorrect is because this outlet actually has the ability of taking in four wires. There's three already taken up, I'm adding one more. So that's four across the board. I could have just left it as is. So I'm pulling the new outlet wiring through, I'm exposing it, and then I'm gonna plug in uh, the white side to silver, the black side to brass, and then I'm gonna pull all the ground together and use that wire nut so that, because there's only one ground screw, uh, I've gotta plug that in on, uh, on one side. I'm not an electrician, that is a disclaimer. Now, the real test.